welcome back to another episode of All Gas, No Trash. My name's Josh, and I'm here today with good buddy Adam, co-host, or actually I'm the co-host, he's the main event here. Yeah. And uh, today we're going to do an album review of Kendrick Lamar's newest dropped album, GNX, right? That's the name of it. Yeah. And we're going to be doing that review, and uh, it's, it's, it, was, it was a stealth drop, so we're going to talk about that. But before we do, let's go to Game Rage Magazine on YouTube, where we can like, comment, and subscribe, right? Subscribing, the best thing to do. Also, if you want to follow us on social media, follow us at Game Rage Magazine on Instagram and TikTok, Game Rage Mag on Twitter slash X. You can also... Follow Adam and this show at All Gas No Trash Official on Instagram. And you can follow Frank if you like anime at anime underscore syndicate underscore podcast. All right. So I would like to start off the Kendrick Lamar GNX album review by saying, Ah, psych, we ain't reviewing that dumb shit. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> we got you, motherfuckers. <laughs> we fucking got you. <laughs> We ain't reviewing that shit. And I would also like to apologize to absolutely fucking no one because we do whatever the fuck we want and no one will tell us what the fuck to do. Yeah, uh, fuck my life, dude. Um, l- let me just start off by saying I thought about it. I gave it a solid 10 seconds. I listened to Squabble Up because we kind of started listening to a bit of it because it just you know randomly dropped out of nowhere. And we heard a few tracks, or we heard specifically Squabble Up, and I really liked it because, well, it was mainly because of the fact that it samples Lookout Weekend from Debbie Deb, which I fucking love. Um, But the rest of the tracks, because we were were planning to review this today, Hmm. and we were uh, going to listen to the album and then just kind of give our thoughts on each one. Yeah. Uh, Not... We weren't going to do like a kind of like a live listen where we actually sit down and go track by track. We were going to do this shit on our own time. But I don't know, man. I was just kind of going through it. And not to maybe I don't know if I wasn't in the mood or maybe the songs just didn't sound all that sweet on my ears. I couldn't get fucking into it. Other than Squabble Up, I thought the track was really I, I love that track. But I don't know, man. I couldn't get behind it. And then I was, I was also thinking, man. You know what our where our strengths lie right now as as we continue to make more episodes of All Gas or Trash is that we we are kind of cementing ourselves as kind of the champions of newer and fresher artists. Why the fuck am I going to help Kendrick Lamar? You know, we're we're not that big. <laughs> he don't need we're, it. We're not that big, but he also doesn't need it. And I don't need to add more fuel to the fire to uh something that I'm not really all that invested in. I should be spending more time on fucking artists that I really do enjoy. And having said that, we're now this is just going to turn into update two of Baby. Because, <laughs> yeah, we're hot on Baby right now. Right? Yeah. Like that's, uh, but I will say, uh, man, I didn't know Kendrick Lamar. Do you know what his real name is? His full name? Is it is it like Titus? No, O'Neal? It's, like it's Kendrick Lamar, and then a last name. Like Kendrick Lamar is like his first name and his middle name. Maybe he took his mom's name because he hates his dad. I don't know, but his last name his name, he's Kendrick Lamar Duckworth. That's his fucking actual Duckworth? name. Duckworth. Duckworth. That's his last name. That's pretty. And he's he's our age. He's thirty seven. I'm not. I'm not. 37. Well, you're not. He's my age. He's thirty seven. So. Uh, I, I don't know why. I, do, I will say this about Kendrick Lamar, because I did listen to a couple other songs on there, and even that, I, the way he speaks, I, I'm, I'm just going to say this, because it's going to come out racist, and there's no other way to fucking <laughs> say it, but like, when I hear Kendrick Lamar, most of those songs off that new album, I imagine, like, this is it, like, it's like a bunch of cholos, like, doing Lean Like a Cholo, like, while they're dancing. I don't know why. Like, it doesn't seem like, like, like black rap music to me for some reason or black hip hop or whatever. It just, it seems more of like a Hispanic hip hop. I don't know why that is. It's just, that's what imagery comes into my head when I hear him saying things. I don't know if it's like his voice is not a typical, I, what I don't you think, would think yeah. of like, Oh, like it's, that's a black guy like doing hip hop. Like it sounds more like, Oh, it's like a Hispanic guy fucking saying shit. I don't know. It's weird. 
Uh, but that's just what I get. That's just my own thing. I don't know if anybody else. I don't know if anybody else fucking sees that, or if maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I but anyway, say I don't think his music. I think it's bad. Is exclusive. I don't think it's exclusive to that because <sighs> when people think about Southern California, they think about that type of music, right? Shit to low ride to, or things that they would listen to to just cruising. Yeah, that's down the street, right? It's yeah. not just. It's not exclusive to Mexicans or blacks or anything like that. It just, it feels, I mean, you're saying, you're making it sound like it's. No, I wouldn't say it's exclusive, but that's just what I imagine in my head that like, oh, it's like some low riders. It's like some cholos. Oh, like, I that's, got you. that's just okay. what I hear when oh, I, I like, got play envision when I see that. Okay. Like, uh, I don't think it's exclusive to them, but I'm just saying that's just what kind of the picture I get where like, when you hear this music, this is what I imagine playing mm. during that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I, there's something about. Him doing the huh, 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 like that, like that prepubescent, yeah, crackly voice. Whining? I don't know. Yeah, I just man, he reminds me of the 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 teenager on The Simpsons that's working all these odd jobs, like the popcorn guy at a movie theater, or like putting fucking tacos in a, in the uh, the fryer oh, yeah. shit. He's like, here's your tacos. Like, your tacos, like man. that's what that's what Kendrick Lamar sounds like to me. But anyways, I don't want to give this fucker any more time than yeah, I yeah. have to. Fuck him. I'd rather talk about Baby, because over the weekend, because uh, I spent more time looking into her, because somebody had written a comment on our YouTube video that says, oh, it goes deeper than what you guys think it it is. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, I saw that one. Yeah, so then I started following some of the links that she had on her uh, Instagram profile and it led to this DD DD 2000 dot link or whatever the fuck it was and it's some of the graphics that she uses for the Joyride music video and there's you know it's got a menu bar and there's all this crap thrown on it and uh, it's it's giving lore for the songs it each there every person that's on the fucking Every person that's on the album art is an actual person in the story of Daredevil 2000. So there's lore behind each of them. They have lore for some of the items within, uh, within like the the album art. I think the tell the tell stories about the person and the item that they have. Uh, I don't know, man. It's just really cool. It's like an old 2000s or old late 1990s web page and it's got like this cool ASCII art there's all kinds of cool crap on it and it also shows you a map of the world of Daredevil 2000 it's very much like Magdalena Bay I mean it I it doesn't nearly go as in depth but just just the world building that she does to create uh the world build the world building that she did to create this album or this world around this album is very fucking cool but on top of making this fake world and these characters and stuff, uh, she has fake radio stations for each of them. And I'm just, it, it just, it leaves me without words. It leaves me befuddled to see all this effort that this artist is putting in. And it just makes me want to talk about her more, to talk about the things that she has on her website, to to talk about how much effort she puts into her music, because as I came to find out on her Instagram po- profile, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe it was just her her bio on Spotify that talks about, she doesn't just make music, she also does visual design. So it kind of maybe explains why she's able to do all these things. And uh, yeah, dude, I'm just, I'm, I'm blown away by the fact that she's <clears throat> doing all this. and. Artists are finding excuses or question questioning themselves about like how can I get my music out there? Doing shit like this, man. This is the shit that I dream of that artists are capable of, but they don't want to put in the effort to do it. And obviously this person has no shortage of like inspiration uh from old old websites or futuristic cities and and interesting like graphics like pop-up ads and i just can't believe she does all this man this is it's 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 flabbergasting yeah this is i mean this just goes to show i mean this is talent beyond like 
just music, right? Mm. I mean, this is cool as shit. This is literally like a GeoCity site from like the early 2000s, right? This is what it reminds me of. And I mean, with the, with the little banner ads and shit, like it, it looks so fucking much like that. And this is a cool, this is a cool fucking way to add lore to your music and shit, you know? And to have these characters, it's part of the storytelling or whatever, right? And, and I don't know, like the graphics and stuff, they remind me of like, I don't remember, you know, if you remember this, I think we might've talked about it before, but there was this clothing brand in like the early 2000s that was called Plastic, and it was like an anime. It was P-L-A-S-T-I-K. And it was like, they had like anime. It was like, they looked like anime people, but they were like their own original designs, but they would maybe rip off like anime characters it, and it, make their own versions. It Like it almost resemble... Uh, kind of, uh, yeah. Like, but it would yeah. be like, it would be like hot chicks, mainly. So like the Ghost of the Shell chick was like a big one they would do. And they'd just give her like huge tits and like a giant ass, and they'd do like, you know, whatever. But... This art style is kind of like reminiscent of that. And, or they do like Gundam shit, but it would be like, oh, they'd make their own versions of like a Gundam and they would just put it on a shirt and then just put their name on it and that was it. And uh, this is kind of like how their their designs were and shit. It's kind of cool. Like, or even just the fact, uh, cause I don't remember what it was called, the aesthetic, the Y2K aesthetic. Oh, like yeah. Like metallic. Right. Yeah. I don't know what Visual that's called themes. Either, but. I, I couldn't, but it, you could tell like the, that this person. I don't know her actual name, but just Baby in general took inspiration from that era of time, you know, even though we're 20 years removed from it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all these, like, this is, like, what it's reminiscent of all these, like, the icons and, like, the fucking pop-up windows and shit, like... Like that shit, like, like, meta- shit, like metallic. Like metallic, like, yeah. Like that bubble, like that sheen, like, yeah. that, like that rainbow bubble sheen or whatever. That's, mm. yeah, damn, this is fucking, this is this is peak 2000s, man. Y2K right here. Yeah, but it's just the level of forth that somebody's putting into their music to say, this is everything that I want to represent or is going to speak about my music without actually having the music, right? Mm-hmm. It's, it's, uh, it's very cool. So, I don't know, I just wanted to come on here and talk about some of the things that continue to surprise me about baby um just just because as i said before it it doesn't it's not going to do anything to talk about kendrick lamar's music why are we going to waste our time talking about somebody that's already an established artist where we could be spending time talking about the accomplishments of somebody like baby dude i I don't know yeah who's definitely i don't think that baby's getting the due and the credit that she fucking deserves for all this shit Mm -hmm. um and honestly to say like that that, you know that inspires you know our own artist millennial frog to go out and fucking do shit (laughs) and you know to 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 do shit like not ripping this off but you know it's just cool creative ideas to like go spin off of and turn into something else too you know what i'm saying yeah inspiration i guess or whatever yeah um and yeah i i think that like I said, I, I've been telling people that Baby is like the future of fucking music, and I, I think that's true. Whether the mainstream fucking agrees with me or not is relevant, but I guess we'll see. Maybe they will. I don't know. Who fuck knows, man? Fuck but knows? At least we put but fucking effort to... We're doing our part. Yeah. <laughs> I did my part. And I didn't do shit. <laughs> I didn't do shit. Yeah. So, anyway, Who knows, man? Maybe we can inspire... Maybe we can make one or two converts of our listeners listeners to to baby yeah i think we i think we i think listen if you listen to us and you haven't at least gone and checked her shit out then you're fucking missing out you're fucking up all right so anyways you got anything else to add no but i got another episode oh okay cool let's do it let's get into it let's cut this all right so go check us out on uh, youtube game rage magazine you can follow us on instagram and tiktok Game Rage Magazine, Twitter slash X Game Rage Mag. You can follow us on, uh, well, you follow Adam at All Gas No Trash Official, and that's it. We'll uh, catch you guys on the next one.